Hello Stampers, my name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This is the next in my series that I call Fast and Beautiful, where the card is very simple to put together and it uses designer series paper to do most of the heavy lifting. And this is using and featuring this wonderful paper that's been available to us and the second release under sale abrasion. So this paper is free with a $50 order. This paper suite includes um, four different designs and these four different designs um, have, these are all foiled, they're single-sided and they're foiled. This is one that is a stripe, and I've seen wonderful things done with this one where the stripes are colored in, either different or the same color uh, with blends or with markers, and I've seen it sponged, I've seen it brayered, I've seen all kinds of things, and it's just very versatile. Uh, this one is another pattern. This one is foiled in silver and gold, and I'm using these two on my card today. Actually, I'm using three of the four. And then there's this pretty uh, dotted pattern that is, people are calling it rose gold, but I think it's copper. Um, it's, but it has the look of rose gold. And then here is this beautiful floral uh, piece. and. I just love this. I've done one other card using this where I colored them all in and I did another one where I just did a panel and I only colored one of the flowers in the center in and it really is awfully pretty stuff. Again, this is free with a $50 order through the end of March in sale abrasion on Stampin' Up! So what do we need to make this card? Um, I used, um, even though the background of this is white. The white is a little bit off. It's not the same as our Whisper White, and I thought it matched the Very Vanilla a little bit better. So I'm making my card base Very Vanilla 8.5 by 5.5, scored and folded at 4 and a quarter. And so um, then I am using two pieces of the Designer Series paper. Um, the first piece is, they're both four inches wide, and then this piece is two and a quarter, and that's going to sit here along the bottom, and then this top piece I made, I think it was three and three quarters, so three and three quarters, and I haven't cut this final piece, so I'll just do that now. So I'm going to trim this down to three and three quarters and what that's going to do is allow me to have one of these pieces go over the top of the other and fit perfectly on the front of my card. Then what I've done for my decoration here and I have used dimensionals and out of this beautiful paper here I have cut out some of the flowers, some of the buds, and some of the leaves on this just fussy cut them out and to save time of course I've always already done that so I cut out two larger flowers I cut out a series of different leaves and I cut out two buds and I'm going to use leaves and two large flowers and a bud here on the inside on the outside and the inside I put a couple of leaves and the bud again for my decoration for the inside of the card. I'm also using this um, metallic edged ribbon that is three eighths of an inch. And this is the very vanilla uh, with a golden, uh, a gold metallic edge. And I thought that combination went really well with this and it picked up the golds and or if this, if you consider this rose gold, it sort of picked up all of that, I thought. So um, what I want to do is have this piece be four by five and a quarter to fit on the front of my panel here. So what I'm going to do is to put some, uh, let's see, yes, 
I'm going to put some glue, let me get my silicone mat here, on the back side of this panel. And again, this is cut four inches by three and three quarters inches. And then I'm going to use the, the ruler here on my grid paper. And I know I need this piece to be five and a quarter inches long. So I'm going to set this piece down at five and a quarter and set this piece down at zero. That also ensures that I'm getting this piece put on here straight. I think that's straight. Okay, so there's my card panel. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in place on my card and use a little bit of snail on the back and then just glue this down flat to the card. Okay, so putting some glue on the back side of this card and I'm going to put a little bit of extra glue on both halves so that I'm sure that it's going to stay in place. Um, and before I put that completely together, I'm going to put my ribbon across the front. So I need a piece of ribbon that is just going to go across and secure on the back side of my card. And I'm going to put this down on my silicone mat because I already have my glue on there. And I'm going to add some glue to the back of the ribbon so that it'll stay in place on my card. And I'm going to cover up this seam here and put that in place and then wrap that around on the back of my card, securing those ribbon tails. I think I'll put a little extra glue on those. Now then, I'm going to put this panel onto my card front here with the same margin all the way around. And there we go, I've got my panel secured down. And, you know, that's an awful lot of the work already done for you. Now, I did use some dimensionals on these pieces that I fussy cut out. And I used a couple of larger dimensionals. And some of the pieces I put up on dimensionals and some of them I laid flat on the card. So I've got dimensionals on this larger flower, which I'm going to put into place right here on my card front. And then I think I also put the next one up on dimensionals as well. And I'm going to put that, I think I only need a dimensional on the far end and one on the bottom. And then a little bit of snail across here so that my flower is the same height as this one and also glued to the end of it here. So I'm going to set this flower going at a slightly different angle here and put it into place. Now I'm going to tuck some of these leaves and let's see how many leaves do I have. I have I'm going to tuck two of them here on the front and I'm just going to put a little bit of snail on the back of those and those I'm going to tuck under the flowers and put in place flat on the card. So for two of these I'm going to do that and put those in place here on the card and I think that gives it nice dimension and then I've got a couple of mini dimensionals here that I'm, or just one I guess, uh, on the back of this bud. And I'm going to stick that in place right up here on my card. There we go. Now on the inside of this card, uh, I think I just need two of the leaves and I'm going to put them down first and I'm going to secure them with some snail. So right down here in the corner, in fact, I think I'll snip off a little tiny piece of this stem and stick that one right down here in the corner. 
and then this one going up along the edge here in that same corner overlapping just a little bit and then taking this last bud and putting some snail on it and sticking it right here between the two leaves and there I think that's very very pretty on the inside of the card pulling the two together and so we're almost done the only other thing I did was and maybe it's too much but it looked a little incomplete here so I put a bow and I'm going to go ahead and make a simple little bow not a giant one and see about putting it in place here on the bottom of the card there I think that works and I'll cut my ribbon tails here there we go and let me reach for a few of these um, glue dots to the end of my glue dots here and I like to put one on the knot and then one on either side of the ribbon of the bow loops and if I can I capture both the loop and the tail um, and that way they really sit down securely so there we go and then I can just set that in place down here underneath the flowers on my piece and there's my bow and uh, you could leave this as a note card now what I did was I stamped a simple thank you and let's see I had a piece of very vanilla scrap here and memento because it's out on my desk and a simple thank you this would be a lovely birthday card or a thinking of you card make a, a pretty card for just about anything and look how fast that went together so I'm going to stamp it on one side here there we go should have used my pierce mat but I got away with it and I'm going to cut this by eye across here and cut it off here and then I'm going to make a little a little banner tail on the end of this sentiment here And I thought uh, on this one, what I did was I took, I put the sentiment down here on the bottom and that's kind of crowding the bottom a bit. So this one I think I'll put up at the top just for grins. And um, what I did was I put a little piece of ribbon that would extend beyond the sentiment on both sides and cut my ribbon. And I put a little bit of snail on my ribbon and I'm going to put that in place across the top of the card here. Then I'm going to take this and I think I'm going to raise this on a couple of dimensionals. I'm going to take my sentiment here and just lay it on top of the ribbon. And there's our project for the day. Simple easy, fast, and beautiful. So um, thank you very much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. Um, and if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. And or you could join my team. As you've heard me talk about if you follow me on YouTube, there are some terrific deals right now for joining Stampin' Up! and joining my team. And uh, my telephone number is always listed below. I'd love to talk to you about it. The special deals that I'm talking about go on through the month of March. 
And um, so there's terrific deals, and this paper could be obtained by any $50 order on my website, www.lbettinger.stampinup.net. And then you can select this paper as your free item. And it's wonderful to have foil paper like that. It's three pages of each of these design uh, that's foiled that you get for free. So it is like 12 pages of designer series paper. It's a terrific deal. And this paper, as you can see, is just stunning. So uh, that's it for me today. The prize draw for um, February, I'm going to make my drawing tonight. Uh, so I'll have the prize draw. But the prize draw then, uh, that was for two subscriptions, two month subscription to Paper Pumpkin. And my prize draw for the month of March is a set of Brusho, uh, the Brusho coloring system, um, and a couple of aqua painters. So it is uh, quite a nice prize. I think Brusho is $30 and the aqua painter pair is 12 or 17. So it is that value for the month of March, which is going to be my prize draw for those people who put in order with me on my Stampin' Up! site. So that's it for me today. Thanks again so much for stopping by, and I'll see you soon with more projects and more cards. Bye!